In this video, we're going to be making this macOS inspired dock in Framer. Getting right into it, we will have a blank canvas. I have preset icons here, which I will get into in a little bit. I'm going to set the layout to center, center, just so everything is in the middle. And I'm going to set the fill to a darker color. Get myself a frame layout left right gap of 12 and padding of 12 fill is going to be white at 10 percent with a border again white at 10 percent radius will be 24 pixels overflow will be set to visible and we are ready to start going to create a 64 by 64 frame. We're actually going to turn this into a stack, going left, right, taking the gap off, overflow to visible, and we're good. We can now set our dock to fit content on both height and width. We'll rename this to macOS dock, and this to our item. I'm going to right click this create component and we are ready to get started. Inside this item, we are going to create another frame. This will be our icon. And inside here, if I go back out here and grab our framer icon, I will show you that it is the exact same. So inside here, I just have an SVG and the actual framer icon has a transition, which is spring, 430, and a mass of 2. Overflow is visible, radius is 12. And just like that, we can take off the background from our item, the background fill from our item, and add a, another frame, this one above the framer icon, because this will be absolute. So we will go zero on this. It will be negative 36 top. This will be a layout, no gap. It will be rounded with our radius of three. It will have a background fill of 20, 20, 20. Radius of three, border will be white, 10%. And we will set the transition to be instant because we will be going into our main variant here and changing the transition to instant. Inside our tooltip, we can type in framer. I'm going to set this to be 11 pixels. You can mess with it if you want. Whoops. We'll name this tooltip, set it to be fit content and fit content with a padding of 2, 12, 2, 12, just like that. And we can confirm negative 36, it's in the center. Everything should be good there. We're going to, by default, have this at zero opacity. And we're good with our tooltip and our icon. Actually, we're not. We're going to set pointer events on our tooltip to be none. And we can do the same thing here for we can do here a framer wrapper and this can be the finder wrapper. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab finder and folder and go back into here. And we will take I will take my finder and just replace it here. And then do the same, Just do the same here for folder and take folder. And just like that, we're good. So if we click play, nothing happens, but we're going to start with the framer variant. So if we click new variant, we're going to click on our framer wrapper, set this to have a padding of bottom of 24. So it raises itself up. 
as well as the tooltip should come in. So we set the opacity to one. Now on our framer wrapper, we will drag off of this mouse enter. One thing that I like to do here is set the mouse leaf. We click a new transition. Mouse leaf for the entire dock, we will want to go back to variant one. What I'm gonna do to make this a little bit easier is set the variant one, the primary, to be default. Variant two will be framer. Now we click play. You can see we hover over and the tra it transitions correctly. So we can go ahead and do this a couple more times, however many times you want, for any icons. But we're gonna go ahead and go into this folder wrapper. And as you saw in the preview, it was a fan that came out. So we're gonna go ahead and build that now. We grab ourselves a absolute, oops, grab ourselves an absolute positioning. Set this to be 264. We'll go ahead and set it right there for now. Visible, fill will be gone, and we're good there. This is supposed to be at the top here. So let me redo that because it did not correctly do what I wanted it to do. 264, you can see if we put a color on this, there it is, perfect. Now, we are going to go in here, grab our icons. We will set this to be 48 with the width of 64 and set it at the bottom here. This is our item. This is our fan. And this is our, so we'll set this to be a random unsplash photo. We'll do this one. And then on top of this, we will put a stack over it. This stack right here, we're going to turn into a layout left, right. We're going to set this to be six cap. We're actually going to grab the tooltip from this and add it, make it a relative and put it to the left. And we're going to mess around set this to end, distribute to end on our item stack. This way you can see that our tooltip is to the left of our photo. Now we're gonna take this, set it to zero opacity, and now we're set up to finish the finder and then get onto the screenshots. So let's go ahead and create a new variant. This one will be finder. And once again, we just go into here, finder, set the padding to 24, tooltip to opacity one and grab the finder wrapper from our default variant, set the interaction to be mouse enter to go there. Now, once again, new variant, this is where things get pretty cool. So we're doing our folder and this will have our 24 padding, our tooltip at opacity one, we can go into these and change this to be finder and screenshots with our main, our first photo saying cool, whoops, coolphoto.png. Now, we want to create one more variant, set this to be folder open and take our wrapper, our fan wrapper, opacity of one. We're gonna set this to be a layout, bottom of 88, uh, absolute positioning. Change this to end. And now set the tooltip of our item to be 100%. This way it shows up on the image. And if we go into our folder wrapper, create a new interaction for a mouse enter. This can go to folder. On top of that, we're going to create one called tap and this will go to folder open. What I like to do is on our folder open, get rid of mouse leaf. So if we were to leave, the folder doesn't close. This way we can potentially make these clickable. 
as well as on our actual folder wrapper here, get rid of mouse enter. So when we re-enter the icon, it doesn't go back to the hover state. So now you can see we have our three icons working. We click it, it comes up. And we can set it up to have tap go back to folder. Now, just like that. If we want to animate it, we can go into here, fan wrapper, add a transition, spring, 400, spring of 430, I'm going to set the mass to 2. And now, you can click it, it comes up, it goes back down. Just a fun little animation. We can work on repositioning this if we want it to be slightly higher, so maybe it looks a little bit better coming out here. And just like that, we have a very fun macOS bar. Make sure the fan wrapper has pointer events. I've known this one. All right, so as we come to an end here, there are a few quality of life changes that I would like to make. One of them is in this photo, we will add a border. It's white with two pixels. There's just that. On top of that, we will set the height to be fill. And then we can add another photo, just like that. Go into the tooltip, change this to say cats. Oops, cats.png. And we can change the unsplash photo to a photo of cats. And I want this item to be 32 pixels instead. Just like that, now we have our cats. The other thing is that active circle. So we'll make a four by four, set this to be in the center, and maybe go down to negative nine. White radius of 999 to make it rounded. I'm actually gonna lower the opacity down to 30. The last thing is that magnetic effect when we hover. This is super easy. Grab our finder, change this to a three pixel bottom, or three pixel padding on the bottom. Inside finder, we have framer and the folder. So we're gonna take both of those and put three pixels on the bottom. Folder only has finder next to it. So we add three on there and we do nothing onto the open folder. Now we have our, this should actually be, this rounded icon should actually be on the outside of here and we'll put it back to negative nine just like that and now if we try that again you can see that it stays in place we have our little magnetic and when we open our folder we have our double double screenshots the last thing that we have to do is replace the folder icon when the screenshots folder is open so i'm going to set the folder to be not visible i'm going to bring in a phosphor logo which is up here for some reason. And then I'm gonna go to my folder, set a border, make it white. And as you can see, we should have a logo or an icon here that correctly works. Just like that. That's gonna be the end of my video. Hopefully you learned something or were inspired. If you would like to see more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments. Like the video, follow me on Twitter slash X, where I have a bunch of different content on there that you can view. And if you want to see that as any of those as a tutorial, go ahead and let me know there. Thanks for watching.